What a compounding pharmacist does is practice pharmacy the way it used to be. The doctor would order something, the pharmacist would put it together. You know, with, with the, um, between World War I and World War II, there was a real shift in having, uh, instead of having the pharmacist prepare things, it was done in mass by drug companies. So if a compounding pharmacist basically takes care of people who don't fit into the mold of the regular drug companies. Every day is a little bit different for a compounding pharmacist. Uh, we may fill a prescription for um, a baby going home from the hospital that needs a solution, or we may fill uh, bioidentical hormones for women who are going through menopause and want a more natural way of, of treating uh, their problems or kind of replacing. Um, we may do capsules for somebody who's allergic to lactose and we need to make a special capsule. We also make some special capsules that are vegetarian for people who don't want to have the gelatin capsules. We do some veterinary medications. In fact, one of our favorite veterinary patients is a, is a French bulldog named Yoda. Melissa is putting together a cream. This one has estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone in it. So we started off with our powders, which was our progesterone and testosterone. Then she added in a solubilizing agent to help put that into a, into a nice smooth cream, which is what she's got right there. When you're wanting to get into compounding pharmacy, it's an ongoing education. Now there are some um, internships and fellowships in compounding specifically, but not a lot. Most compounding pharmacists are going to you know, work with another compounding pharmacy. If, as a student, they'll come in and work with, a, with another pharmacy. And that's really, it's, it's like an on-the-job education. Pharmacy school gives you the background and the understanding of why you're doing what you're doing and going to work at a compounding pharmacy or doing a fellowship or rotation or education classes is going to tell you how to, how to go about putting it together. What can you mix, what can't you mix, um, you know, how are you going to make a, what they call an elegant product.